Welcome, Floss Tube, and thank you for joining me today. Um, I want to say I appreciate all my returning subscribers and returning viewers. And if you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And I hope you stay till the end and enjoy what you see. Give me a comment. Let me know how things are going. Um, we're going to get right into uh, what I've worked on this week. So we're going to start with this. One of the things was the 12 Days of Christmas book, book two. And I was doing, or I'm doing the Four Calling Birds, which is here. And I remember I had to rip out the whole thing because it didn't match. Well, I redid the circle and it's there now. It matches. So I'll start on the inside next. And this is with a mystery green fabric. And this is pattern is by Judy Whitman. And, and I changed one DMC color to 469 instead of 936. And then the next one I'm going to show is on the same fabric. And it's this one here, Lighting Santa's Way with the gnome and the reindeer. And that's in Just Cross Stitch Christmas 2022. And that one is right here. So I'm working on the reindeer now. Okay. Stick all these back in the bag. Or, no, let's put it down here. Okay, next is Sailor's Way by ben Brenda Keys. This is my camp September camp um, stitch. And I haven't gotten much further in it, but I did get a little bit farther. I just need the R for for my dear. Okay. Takes care of that one. Okay, and next is from the Fat Quarter Shop um, support group. They're doing a sale on this one. I don't know how far behind I am because I haven't got to look at the floss tube and see where they're at. But this is where I've gotten. I just started this one last night. And that's support group by Lori Holt. And it's a stitch with Fat Quarter Shop. And it is on 14 Count Ada Mystery. And I'm using the called for colors. Okay, and next is this one. Hot cocoa, which I bought the wrong pattern for this the stitch along, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this one since I already bought it and already started stitching it. But this was for um, a stitch with Nicole SP. Let me make sure I get it right. 
S P O H R. If you check out her um, floss tube, she does a weekly stitch along for these, and they're on week two. And I just got part of my border done was all so far. But the one that is actually the one is called Old Fashioned. And it is almost like this one. It's still hot cocoa. But it's called Old Fashioned. And then this one, if y'all remember from a week or so ago, I had to pull the whole thing out and start over. It's supposed to say Hocus Pocus there. But I was off by quite a bit when I had the whole line done, nearly. So I had to take it all out and start over. And this is by Craft, Creatively Crafting. And I'm using a Mystery White Spiderweb Ada. And I'm using the called for colors in that one. And then this last one that I've worked on is Letters to Santa. And it is a fat quarter shop, um, stitch along mystery. And that's the end of what I've worked on for this week. So now I want to move into my haul. First, I'm going to show the bag that I'm keeping the Christmas stuff in. Here's the front. And there's the inside. And here's the back of it. Wonderful bags. And they're made by Dot Dot Goose Designs. I have a few of her bags, and they're excellent. But this is now my Christmas bag. Um... I'll just show up with this. And then I got a Bella board in the red. And it's about as tall as my screen thing there. And I got this from Annabella's. She has an Etsy shop and it's Annabella's shop. And um, yeah, I'll show this side of the card. Let's leave it up here for a minute if you need to screenshot or anything. I'll try to have it in the description. And then I got this little needle minder. It says, Hello, Thanksmas, with three different gnomes. And I'll just show there. I got it for Mad for Minders. Let's see. There we go. And you can screenshot this if you want. But I've got a lot of my needle minders from them. Then I won this from Nicole. S-P-O-H-R, S-P-O, 
HR. I won this and I did. I wanted to open it on here. So if you haven't gotten your spooky box, you might want to pause or walk away for a minute because I'm going to open it here. And see what all's in it. Uh, I give you a card about Quilter Select. And then I have a promo code for 20% off. And then it looks like I got Riley ba Blake fabric. Spider webs and bats and skeletons. And I might open it some other time and show it. Um, I got some purple uh, thread and some wonder clips, which they must have known me. I love purple. And then... Um, some thread conditioner, thread lotion, it's called, which I'm kind of excited to try this out and see how it works. Um, then I got a so tight skeleton, which works good when you're working on uh, hexagons, which I do a lot of. I just haven't done them in a while. But that'll go for that. And then a pattern. It's called Scary Faces. Okay. And that's it for that. Put all this back in this box. I got some fabric, some white 14 count, some blue 14 count, and some red 14 count. And then I got two fat quarters from Joann's. And I bought a bunch of thread DMC that I didn't have or was out of, which I can't show you that because I've already kitted them all up in the bags they go in. Um, so I guess I could tell you my short story right now. It's going to be short this time. Uh, yesterday, when the spooky box and... Oh, I have two more hauls to show you. When these other two hauls got to my house, I went out to pick up the box, and I have a huge dog that barks very scarily and very loud. She's name is Snowflake. And then a little teeny tiny dog, and he has a little bark, and his name is Prince. Well, they were barking like crazy, so I knew something was there. So I went to check and put them outside, and when I went to the boxes, there was two milk bone biscuits sitting on top of the dock on the boxes. So the mailman was trying to uh, make up to my dog so they wouldn't bark so much at him or her, I guess. But I just thought it was funny that there was milk bones sitting on top of the boxes. Um, so that's my story. I'll show you. As far as quilting, I can show you a couple of blocks I made. This is supposed to be a pumpkin. I need to put the stem still on it. And this was made for my guild, which was Monday, and I was sick, so I could not go. So I think I'm just going to make some blocks and make some kind of a thing with just some pumpkins. And I'll use that fabric that I got from Joann's and some more Halloween fabric to make some pumpkins and see what I can come up with. 
Um, and then I'll show, I don't think she watches my floss tube anyway. This is a block for a secret sister. that I have ready to go out to her. I have to make a few more blocks, but it'll eventually get out to her. I'm trying to get caught up on that. Um, but that's one of her blocks. Um, I still want to do a giveaway at 100 subscribers. I haven't reached there yet. I'm still a little ways off. So if you know anybody you could pass this video on to and get them to watch and subscribe and um, or put my name out there, I would greatly appreciate it. And then we could have our giveaway. Um, but that's all I really have for this week. I want to thank you for your support and please return watch some of my other videos that are on here. Um, subscribe, like, and comment. Just make any kind of comment at the bottom. Um, like the channel. It helps in the algorithm thing and subscribe. So that'll put my channel out there more. Um, but I do want to thank y'all and I appreciate all of you. And I hope you have a wonderful week. And keep stitching and come back and see me next week. Bye.